angry guy here, and thugs are condemning the passport bros. Thugs are condemning the passport bros. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Y'all don't speak Mandarin. Y'all don't speak no other language but English. And you're going to go to another country? And then you're going to go to the United States to rescue you when something happens to you, right? Okay, Brittany Griner. Before we get into what this Pookie has to say about the whole passport bro movement, I have to run this whole thing back a little bit so I can give you guys some more context because the little snippet that you just have seen was cut out of a review that he has done on one of my videos. So let's get right into it. As you already know, I am a firm believer of a woman competing for her man, especially if she knows that he has a high sexual marketplace value. And because of that fact, when my husband and I back then, boyfriend and girlfriend were still dating and he came and visited me in Germany back in 06, I had to make sure I do everything to leave a good impression compared to the women in America. And I had to do things that I know that women in America are not going to do for him, which really wasn't that hard because women in America, not all of them, but a lot of them, they just don't want to do jack shit for a man. I want to point out here, guys, that the reason why Pookie is so furious, why Pookie is so upset is because these men are the ones who've destroyed their communities. These men are the ones who continue to tear down society. You see, black people are great. I think black people are fine. But there are a specific group of people in the black community that have created these disparities within that community. Right? And it's the Pookies. It's the Ray Rays. And, of course, Tyrone. And where do these guys come from? They come from single mothers. So it's a synergy right there. It's a back and forth right there. These are the people that have destroyed these communities. What happens when passport bros start walking away? What happens when men start walking away from sight? What happens when the high income black men start walking away? When the responsible black men start walking away? When the black men with value start walking away? I'll tell you what happens. It shines a light on the people who are creating all the problems. When the good men start walking away, it only leaves the bad men and the, 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 the spotlight gets placed on them. They become the focus <laughs> and they know it because this is how they do it. They commit their illicit acts, you know, in broad daylight and they try to blend into blend into the crowd. But when all these men walk away from Western society, walk away from relationships, walk away from participation, when they say, nah, you know what, we're going to leave, what they're leaving behind are these people, the people who are who have destroyed this, their, their communities, people that are destroying society. So the spotlight gets shined right on Pookie, right on Ray Ray, right on Tyrone. Because if men walk away from Western society, then it, it begins to, to fall apart. It begins to, cr to, to crash around us. Because these men are no longer going to hold up the society. They're not going to hold up these communities anymore. They're not going to participate anymore. So these men that are destroying these communities, this, this, the, the spotlight is on them. So of course they're furious. Of course they're angry. Because now they're going to be the ones that are blamed. They're the, going to be the ones that are condemned. You have black women saying that their best brothers are in prison. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. But it's not going to fly. It's not going to fly. Pookie is going to finally have his day of reckoning. Ray Ray, Tyrone, Quan, Enrique, Miguel. I keep warning you about Enrique and Miguel. These are big fixtures in the black community. Enrique and Miguel are big fixtures in the black community. They have done just as much harm as Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone. These, these men are fixtures in the black community. All right? Do not make any do not misunderstand. They've been running wild in that community for decades as well. All right, they're just brothers from different mothers. They are very bad men. They are very, very bad men. All right. Enrique and Miguel. My goodness.
especially while they are dating. So let's just keep it real. I'm not here just talking out of my behind to make anyone look bad. You can show me, show me right now how many women that you have dealt with, not dealt with, but dated, who actually were willing to do something for you. And since I like giving advice to women on how to really leave a good impression when it comes to dating a man, I posted this video onto my previous Instagram account. And of course, like many other videos that I posted, it went viral on various platforms. But before we get into the video, I do have to tell you that the title of the video, the caption was not made by me. It was added by someone who reposted my content. So let's get right into it and let's see what Pookie has to say about my message. Ladies, you got to. So it looks like the audio is missing, but it says that I provide I proved to him that I was better than everyone he dated, and I'm going to be uh, better than everyone that he could possibly date in the future. So I took that man, I bought him everything he wanted and stuff he didn't have, and I had him let I let him know that I adore him, I appreciate him, and everything that was coming when he came to Amer came from America to Germany, I will prove to him and do whatever I have to do in my power to show him that I am the one. Would you agree with what I said? I mean, maybe I am doing too much, but my actions are proving me otherwise. So let's see what kind of gibberish Mr. Pookie Man has to say. This video must be satire, but I'll tell you one thing. A lot of you American men that's trying to be passport bros that's going to these other countries but do not even speak their language, you're insane. This is beyond just women we're talking about. Y'all men don't speak German, y'all don't speak Japanese, y'all don't speak Chinese, y'all don't speak none of these languages, y'all don't speak Mandarin, y'all don't speak no other language but English. And you're going to go to another country, and then you go with the United States to rescue you when something happens to you, right? Okay, Brittany Griner. Doing dumb stuff. And then, not to mention, y'all going to these other countries looking for these wife material women, when low-key you're only dating little girls who's being trafficked, and women that are like three or four out there. I would never be a passport bro because those women in over countries that y'all passporting for is not free women. Of course, but that's not everything. Let's check out a few comments. First one, they don't even realize they're getting played. They're desperate, exactly, but book a one way. I thank them for their service. So once again, passport bros are being judged and shamed for wanting to leave the country and trying to find love outside of the US. Meanwhile, why these women clearly don't want them. I mean, there are numerous of posts, including thousands of comments that always prove that American women don't want these men who are leaving the country. So what's the problem? Instead of working on their femininity and their attitude, these ladies rather go to sip and paint parties. I didn't know what it was. You don't know either? Let me show you. I was in complete shock. Give it to me like... <laughs> paint party so are you trying to tell me that decent american men are supposed to pick a woman out of that pool to wife them come on give me a break please give me a break pookie probably never left this township which is probably the reason why he's talking like that i mean all the countries that he mentions germany japan and china these are countries where the majority of the population speaks English to begin with. And then he said that these guys expect the American government to come through and rescue them whenever they need help. First of all, sir, and dear American government, with all due respect, you don't even help the Americans who need help who are still in America. And by the way, when these guys leave America to go chill in another country, there are foreign insurance policies which are paid for, which provide the service of helping the Americans when they are in an emergency. So, sir, really nobody is begging for anyone to help them in any type of way. So please do not sit here and compare responsible adults to Brittany Griner, who unfortunately had a little bit of marijuana inside of her e-cigarette at a Russian airport. I mean, at a Russian airport. If anybody is strict with anything, it will be the Russians. I mean, come on. Understand the audacity that this young gentleman has saying that women outside of the country are either three or fours or young women who are being trafficked. First of all, something like that happening to young women is really nothing to make fun out of. It's, I don't even want to imagine what it's like. So I really don't want to talk about that any further. But let's speak about those who he thinks look like three and fours. 
I believe that this man, like I said, never left the township and the furthest that he went was probably a local cookout. So him sitting there and making all these allegations and just coming at men for trying to do better while he's obviously laying in bed and just hyping up women who are absolutely against the passport bro movement, I am really not surprised. I am not surprised that he's actually doing this. And of course, he is not the only one who is feeling some type of way about the whole passport bro situation. See, I'll look at it like this. It's the love-hate relationship that we have to develop with these people because they hate it, but we love the passport bro movement. Let's look into the next clip. To all of the damn single black men out there that keep hollering about they going out of the country to get them a wife. Y'all better sit y'all ragged asses down and be content, do right, and find you a black girl right here in this great United States. Yes, ma'am, I absolutely agree. But obviously, there are way too many ladies out in the great United States who are not willing to date down, who have way too high standards, who are kind of complicated to deal with, who think that men are never going to be man enough for them. So what are these men supposed to do? What are they supposed to do? Just sit there and wait till these women change their attitudes? I don't think so. Nobody has time to waste. And why are men the ones who are always supposed to act right? Why can't we talk about the fact that a lot of women don't know how to act right and normal? You have all of these women who are ready for a relationship but don't want to bring anything to the table because they have a career, because they look good. Well, sorry, that is not enough. And also, cooking and cleaning doesn't mean that you are a traditional wife either. I am not even a traditional wife because if I was to be a traditional wife, the last thing that I would do is sit in front of a camera with my hair out, with my earrings on, with my face all made and fixed, talking to men, communicating with men. So I'm over here just a modern wife. Cooking and cleaning is okay, an important part, but at the end of the day does not define being a traditional wife. The whole topic being a traditional wife is a whole different story that we might have to get into in a different video. But you know, a lot of dudes are really settling for way too little. I like the fact that she pointed out that, you know, these modern day women are not, you know, that cook and clean. They are not traditional women. They are absolutely not traditional women. And, uh, you know, that's that's a good point to make. But back to what this lady was saying, no, ma'am, women have to fix their attitudes. Women have to fix their mindsets. Women have to fix their actions in America. Not all of them, but the majority. And that is a fact. So it is a fact that there are a lot of people who are against the passport bro movement. It was the same thing with my husband. So many people try to talk him out of actually leaving the U.S. and go to a different country. But since he has a backbone and he's very goal-oriented, he chose to do it anyway, and I don't think he regrets it. So let's take this as a motivation guys do your research before you go anywhere make sure if you can don't go to locations by yourself make sure you always go with two or three people and then if you can communicate with the person that you are about to meet in advance you know there are dating platforms social media whatsoever I know this is not the right place to meet a woman but some people actually do and then they are lucky with whatever they are doing other than that I would like for you to stay motivated stay on your hustle be focused don't get distracted Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, leave a like. I appreciate and I love communicating with you guys and stay tuned for more content. Thank you. You know, guys, I'm telling y'all, I put out a video recently where I talked about how men, I showed you, men are literally putting on blindfolds when they work out at the gym so that they're not called creep. This is, we, we were past the point of the end. Men are just basically trying to cope in society as they can right now. And as they prepare to walk away from society. If they stay in society, they're going to completely disengage from society. You know, I made a poll where I said that women would try to police single men in their homes if they could. It's it's literally that bad at this point. And I've said it already that M2, V2 is on the way. The M2 movement isn't over. V2 is on the way. We're beginning to see it happen now. Because these women are desperate. They are looking for any opportunity they can to, you know, deal with the fact that they're now older. They don't have savings. They can't sustain these lifestyles. So they're going to go after every single guy. And, you know, it's been effective for them basically saying that, oh, don't blame me for the actions of all women. These don't talk. Don't say all women talk about the individual. And these women do not represent us. And what are you guys talking about? They're going to deflect, name, shame, blame. They're going to. Guys, this is a twisted society. These women are no longer operating even in their own best interest. It's counter, it's counterproductive what they're doing. You can clearly see that we are literally in the age of mental illness, extreme mental illness. A lot of these same women are also making deletion packs where 
if they don't make a certain amount of money, if they don't have certain savings, if they're not in a certain place, by the time they reach middle age, they are making packs that they will delete themselves a lot with, with others. It's absolute insanity. And I do believe that many of them are going to actually follow through with it. So guys, you have these thugs, these Ray Rays, Pookies, like I said, Miguel and Enrique, these are men who have terrorized the black community for many generations now. Do not leave these men out. These men are absolute horrible people. And they are furious that you know, men of dignity and class are walking away because what that does is it shines the spotlight on the men who have destroyed these communities and continue to destroy these communities. I want to know what you guys think in the comments regarding everything I've said here today. And let's talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.